Welcome back everybody, Mr. Carl Science here. Today is gonna be the first episode of Things Every Guy Should Know, where I'm gonna teach you how to tie a tie. It's time for class. I got projects that you wouldn't believe. Science stuff, 3D printing, student machines. Na 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 na. It's a Carol thing. <laughs> Don't forget, there's still two days left in my giveaway. I'm sorry, did I say days? I meant hours. Okay, make sure you check the link in the description so you can enter to win either this 3D pen or the dangerous book for boys. And don't forget to do your bell work. That's right. Make sure that you're subscribed down below and click the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Whether you're going to work, going to an interview, or simply going on a date, it's important to look your best, especially if you're trying to impress the people that you're going to be spending time with. So today I'm going to show you four different ways to tie a tie. Step one, you need to be wearing a collared shirt. That's better. So the first step is make sure that your top button is buttoned because it's going to make it a little bit easier. Raise the collar up and I'm going to show you four different knots here. So the first knot that I'm going to show you is a knot that I learned in Brazil. This is a beginner's knot. It's really meant for people who have never tied a tie before and this is your first attempt at ever tying it. I'm going to show this up close and I'm also going to show this from a distance so you can get a better feel for how the knot is tied. So the way that I'm going to check my spacing to make sure that I have enough length on this side is I'm going to measure down to my fingertip when I'm standing straight up. So I'm going to pull that much slack out and then I'm going to go ahead and start to tie. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross the left side over the right side. I'm going to come around the back and then I'm going to go around the front again and make a little loop right here. I'm going to come up through the back and then I'm going to tuck this through the loop that I just made. Uh. It doesn't get much more simple than that as far as tying a tie goes. Now the next knot that I'm going to tie, it's a really nice knot. It's actually called a single Windsor. Essentially what you're going to do is a more complicated version of the first knot that we tied. So I'm going to measure it out again, measure it down to my fingertips, and then I'm going to Start by crossing again the left side over the right side. I'm going to come up through the back this time. Then I'm going to go around the back and around the front. And then I'm going to come up through the back. And just like before, I'm going to tuck this part in through the loop that I just created. And that's a single Windsor. Now the third knot that I'm going to tie is called the double Windsor. This is the one that I always tie. This is the one that I generally wear. It's a little bit more complicated still, but it's a really nice even looking tie. So I'm going to start out by measuring out my fingertips again, but this time I'm going to add a couple of extra inches because there's an extra step. So I added a couple of extra inches and now I'm going to go ahead and start to tie. So I'm going to start out by crossing the left side over the right and I'm going to come up through the back. Then I'm going to go around the back side of the knot and I'm going to go through the front. And that is going to make this nice V shape here which is the, the, the style that I'm going for. So then I'm going to wrap it around the front again and come up through and now that I've made my little pocket I'm going to make sure that this gets tucked into that pocket And there we go. That is a double Windsor. Now the last one that I'm going to tie, I'm calling the Ravenclaw because it's the most complicated to do. So make sure on this one that the skinnier part of the tie is on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is essentially just tie a double Windsor again. So I'm going to go left side over the right side and I'm going to come up through. Then I'm going to go around the back and go through again. I'm going to go around the front, make my pocket again, and here we go. I'm going to tuck this end through this loop, 
and pull it tight. Now, when I do that, it's going to do some interesting stuff on the back side. First of all, the bigger part of the tie is the part that's going to loosen it up around your neck. I'm going to take it off, flip it around, and that's the actual magic of tying this knot. Is that by tying it in this way, you get this really cool looking crisscross effect that goes across the face of the knot. And that is the Ravenclaw. Now the important thing to remember about any tie knot is that you should be able to pull it out very simply. The mark of a good knot of any form is that you can tie it and untie it easily. So in this case with any good tie knot you should be able to just simply pull it through and then the knot should just come right out. Well guys, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any ideas of what we can do for this things every guy should know, make sure that you comment them down below so that I can add those ideas to my list. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and that you enter the giveaway and I will see you in the classroom. About a palm's width. Hey Isaac. So I add a couple of inches. Okay, Betty. So I added a couple of extra inches and now I'm going to go ahead and start to tie. I'm videoing myself tying my tie. How do you stop the video?